Hi everyone. Hello. Um, so yesterday I got some Everyday Mineral products and it's a haul video today. Um, just basically what I think about Everyday Minerals is that I think it really gives you a very natural finish. Like it doesn't give you a mask and it gives you a nice soft glow which I really fell in love with. Um, this is Everyday Minerals Face and Everyday Minerals Base. <laughs> these are the two things I started with and I got these from eBay. Someone didn't want them anymore so I got them. And this is light medium and this is soft bronze and kaolin powder. And um, for these they were really good. Like this base doesn't look, it doesn't make me look like I'm wearing a mask. It's super natural and it's better than my liquid foundation, but I think liquid foundation definitely gives me more of a coverage. So that's why I don't use it every day on a daily basis. What if I need more coverage? Then I switch to liquid. Um, as for this, this is magical because I use this to just finish everything off. Um, for example, um, I take my biggest powder brush and after I put all my makeup on, I put this on and just dust it all over my face and it just gives me a really nice finished glow and because it's kaolin powder it sucks out all the oil and thank you um, Adore Beauty for giving me that review about the MAC Bot powder because I am going to get it um, so besides that I will talk about what I got yesterday and I got a lot of things it came in this bag and I want to thank the person who let me join their spree even though I didn't have a POSB account and they trusted me and thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, so I got a lot of things. And some of the things I didn't really want to get after I got it. You know when you buy things and you're like, oh my god, why did I get that? Yeah. Today, I kind of feel like that. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm happy with half of the products that I got. But the other half, I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? You know? Um, one of them is the Skunkless Optic Brush. That is a what the hell are you thinking product. But <laughs> I'll get to that. So the first thing I'm going to do is talk about the blushes and this is everyday minerals and I shall go through them evening out is a um, dark darker than waffle cone more rosy than waffle cone but more brown than any other br blush if that makes sense and I'm not gonna open this because this is for my friend um, the next one is theme park and the reason why I got theme park was because I saw this blog and I really wanted to try NARS orgasm blush but again it's not in Singapore and it's way too expensive so, I wanted a dupe, and I heard that Theme Park is a really good dupe for it. Um, it's a shimmery, rosy color, I would say, and um, honestly, I really like matte blushes now. Like, um, I don't, I don't know if you saw my blush video, my Everyday Minerals blush video um, that I did earlier before, and I really love the matte blushes. I don't know, they just gave me a really natural like glow, and it didn't have any of that shimmer stuff. But today, my haul, when I ordered my stuff, I liked them shimmery blushes. <laughs> and I got a lot of shimmery blushes. All of them are shimmer. Mm. So, you know, I'm going to live with it because I know I, I used to like it once. I can like it again. So this is Theme Park. Rosy. I would say like a darker, like a rosy brown. Um, next one is walkie talkie and I'm actually really happy with this one although it's glitter glitterati glittery um, I heard really good things about walkie talkie and looking at the color it's like a plum rosy color and I really like it so I think I'm looking forward to using that um, blush and I'm just going to show you what they look like when they're new because I'm going to show you what they look like when they're, they're opened and the thing about these new cases well they're not really new because they've been here for a really long time but um, the thing about these is that they have this little sifter thing so you can turn it and you can keep all the stuff inside and um, it's really good I guess this is really see how clean it is and then they give you this little sticker thingy to keep everything in um, the next one I got was snuggle and I really love the name of snuggle it's so cute it's like you know you know you're snuggling and then you get like rosy cheeks and that's the color you get um, I would say this is a rosy coral, definitely on the orangey side, I would say. And I opened this one, <laughs> so I'm going to tilt this back so you can see. It does get a little messy. You see that? 
But you just take your brush, you tap it out, you put it on yourself, and you're ready to go. It does fluff, fluff out. So although, you know, the sifter jars work, if you don't use the remaining of the blush that you took out before, and it's just going to get the same kind of messy, so... They tried. You can give them credits for trying. Snuggle. Pretty color. I will keep this. Next one. Everyday bronzer isn't a blush, but it's a bronzer. I got it because I will use it for contouring. Um, and it's a good color for contouring. It's, it is a darker shade than my skin tone. And yeah, everyday bronzer. Not that special because, you know, it's everyday bronzer. Everyone has a bronzer. And I'm looking forward to using this every day. Um, <laughs> that was weird. Okay, next thing um, are the bases that I got and a finishing dust. This finishing dust that I got was Sunlight Finishing Dust, and it's a pale yellow color. It is a really pale yellow color, and I am not really pale yellow. So, <laughs> I'm kind of scared about using this because, I mean, I know it's a translucent powder, but I don't know if it's going to make my face a little lighter than it should be. So I'm kind of contemplating whether I should use this or keep it or whatever. Um, sunlight Finishing Dust. I shall try it out before, or I might not try it out. We'll see. But, you know... It's, a, it's 12 grams. Usually this stuff is 5 grams. This is 12 grams. That's a lot. But yeah, this is Sunlight Finishing Dust. And I'm sorry I'm not reviewing these products, but it's rather a haul video, so I don't really have to review them. Okay? So, this is a base in Butter Tan. And I think it's my color because it's pretty similar to Light Medium. Don't you think? So I'm in good hands. Butter tan, and it's a butter tan color. <laughs> I don't really have, know how to describe it, but yeah, it's butter tan color. Everyday Minerals Base. And it's an original glow, which I heard makes your face glow. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, when I ordered it, I thought I liked the glow, but I was thinking to myself, like, damn, I have oily skin. What am I doing, you know? But I can mix it with this. This is a matte, so original glow and matte together. You never know what will happen. But yeah, I I don't know what I was thinking. You know this is one of those days when you're like, you just want to shop, you want to get everything, and then you just don't think? Yeah, don't do that. Research before. Because right now I'm like, why did I get Original Glow? I have no idea. And why did I get this brush? <laughs> this is a stippling um, skunkless foptic brush. And I wanted a stippling brush because I wanted to put my blush on with this. But I don't know if it's going to work because, okay, it stipples nicely. But a lot of reviews that I read before I got this, I mean, not before I ordered. If before I ordered, um, I wouldn't have got this. But before I got it, got it, I read that it's a really floppy whoppy brush. And it's true. See that? It's a floppy one. Yeah. And after that, it spreads out. <laughs> so I guess you're not supposed to use it like that anyway. So maybe it's my fault. So you just stipple and swirl. See, it's not really swirling that well. It's just too long. They really messed it up. It's just, look at that. It's too long. The handle's too small. Long, small, and the biggest metal thing in the world. So yeah, it's just unbalanced and... I don't know. If you want to... I mean, this would be good for stippling your foundation on. But I don't know about anything else. And I already have a stippling brush for my foundation, so I really don't have any use for this. Yeah. That's the Everyday Minerals sibling brush. And I, it's not on the re website anymore because I think they're modifying it and everything because people complained a lot about it. It's one of those days when I just didn't think about what I was getting. Anyway, um, but I'm happy with this one. This is the Baby Kabuki. And it's soft because it's, okay, it's as soft as, I mean, if you're in sync for it, go look at the Body Shop brushes. Those are really, really soft to me. And this is just like the Body Shop brushes. They're, they're both, I mean, they're both synthetic hairs, and I like this. But, you know, you can do a lot of things with it. You can contour with it, see? And you can put your foundation on with it, but it's going to take a long time with your foundation because it's so small. But you can use a lot of things with this stuff, and it's so cute. And, of course, buffing stuff in, and, like, I would probably use this for contour. It looks like a nice contour size, you know? So I hope you like my haul video. I hope 
that it wasn't too 